Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gear Tube here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the CERN 1S91. The CERN 1S91 is the radar system that's mounted on the chassis here of the 1S11. The same chassis that is used for the 2K12 Cub surface to air missile system. The vehicle basically operates in tandem with the 2K12 Cub um, as a uh, basically tracking and um, radar system for the actual operation of the missiles. It's designed more as a medium range um, radar system while there are other radar systems that can be used uh, with in conjunction with the Cub to actually give it a little bit of longer range. The uh, CERN 1S91 here is kind of the main radar system that would accompany the uh, 2K12 Cub missile system. It's a pretty interesting vehicle and kind of a fun build. This is our first ever uh, actual uh kind of radar mobile station um so that's really cool also to uh, kind of finally see this as a tutorial and or at least see one of these types of systems um and so all that stuff so pretty cool build um should be a fun one to add in especially if you did build the 2k cub um then you have uh basically a cool kind of accompanying uh, radar system to go along with that missile system. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and just kind of dive in here, taking a look at the CERN 1S91 straight flush. Um, obviously, straight flush bleeding its NATO reporting name. So getting started with it, it is a two radar system. It's got this um, larger kind of radar, and then it's got the uh, secondary radar up on top here. It is able to swivel 360 degrees around the base. Um, the base of the vehicle here, again, being the same thing if you did build the 2K12 Cub system. Um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't put this with, like, the uh, the, the um, other missile system that we created not too long ago. Let me just double-check the name here. This is the, the, yeah, the Gana for the 2K11 Krug. Um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't put this missile system with it also if you do want to do that. So this should be kind of a universal type of, um, you know, uh, I guess radar tracking system. Uh, we have obviously the whole system up here, pretty straightforward and all that. Uh, you have the back of the vehicle here, nothing too crazy. Again, pretty much the same chassis we used for the um, 2K12 Cub. Um, only difference is here is it's a little bit shorter of a chassis, um, or yeah, a little bit shorter, I guess is the right term. And it's got this little kind of weird box thing here on the back. But overall, really cool vehicle. Um, as I mentioned, this is our first kind of self-propelled radar station. So kind of a cool and unique build in our lineup of vehicles. Um, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and move into the tutorial, um, beginning with our first layer. Before we go ahead and move into our first layer, I do want to go ahead and mention that this tutorial will be using the first three layers from the original uh, transit uh, version of the 2K12 Cub. Since the chassis is still the same, the three layers will just be taken from that tutorial. So if you did build the air tutorial, that is why um, you probably seem familiar. And in addition, the uh, vehicle in the background will be the transport version just note that once we get to layer four we will go and basically be strictly building the actual um you know radar system from there on out so just know the first three layers here are going to be recycled footage but you're going to be building the same product in the end so um just want to throw that out there in case there is any questions about it with that let's go ahead and move into our first layer all right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer, we will be going ahead and starting off layer one. If you are watching uh, the video for the deployed version and also the radar system, just know that we will be using kind of the same first layers here um, that we did for the transit version. I'm just going to go ahead and recycle the footage since we're basically building the same basis of the vehicle. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's kind of what we're doing here and um, all that. So if you see this vehicle here in the background, that's the reason why. Um, but after we get past layer four or so, then you'll see the vehicle we're actually going to be building. So just keep that in mind. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with this uh, this build here. The first thing we want to do is we want to place down a narrow brick slab like this and a narrow brick top slab coming off of it. We're going to go and then place down a black shulker box on its side, followed by a dark oak trap door, a narrow black shulker box, a narrow dark oak trap door, a narrow black shulker box on its side, a uh, polished black stone stair. A second stair, and then another shulker box on its side, and then another set of two polished blackstone stairs back to back. So you should have an alternating pattern that looks, kind of looks like this for your road wheels. After that, we're going to go then place down a narrow brick upside down stair on the end here of this um, polished blackstone stair. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our dark oak with top sides. We're going to build one, two, three, four, five across from that stair there, and we're also going to go and do five across from that narrow brick slab there. So like so. We then want to go ahead and take our top slabs, and we're just going to go ahead and fill in the space here on the bottom. So just like this. 
to go ahead and create the basis here of the vehicle. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down our polished blocks on the stairs here, our shulker boxes. And again, we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same pattern that we did on the other side over here to this side. Just like that. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. Air brick up down stair, and then a dark liquid trap door to both sides like that. After we have that all done there, uh, basically we're going to go ahead and then place down some item frames on the side here of these shulker boxes. Um, if they will actually load, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and then place down green stained glass panes in those item frames. Now if you're on Java, we can also go ahead and place down dark liquid buttons in the same block space as an item frame. This is a feature that's not going to be available for every version of Java, so if you are in a different version and you are not able to place down a button and item frame, just go ahead and place down the item frame with the green stained glass pane. Um, so it'll look like that there, but for Java, we'll go ahead and do a little bit extra by placing down the dark liquid buttons here. So just like that, we have our road wheels set up. In addition, we do have this banner design that we're going to be placing down on these polished black stone stairs. Now, this banner is really simple. I'm not going to go and go in great detail in it, like building it in a loom. Um, however, I will talk about it briefly. And what basically, all you're doing here is you're going to go and take a black banner. You're going to go and do a green stripe on the right side, splitting the banner in half, and a green stripe on the left side, again, splitting that banner exactly in half. After you have those two banners, you're going to go and then do a black horizontal line for the center of both. And you have those banners complete. Again, real simple stuff. And they'll go on the side of these polished black stone stairs with the green facing toward each other. And this will be done here for each one of our polished black stone stair segments. So it's going to look like that there. After that's all done though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number one. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on up to our next layer, which will be layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to start with, we're going to place down a green terracotta block here. Mossy cobblestone wall to both sides, and then another green terracotta block here coming off the sides. We're going to go then also place down a green circle box on both ends, as well as trip our hooks on the sides here of these blocks. We then also want to place down an item frame here on the side, a cobweb and a dark oak wood button like so. And same thing over here, item frame, cobweb, and a dark oak wood button. We're going to go then uh, place down a dark oak wood trap door, come off the faces here, or the sides I should say, of the green circle boxes. And we then want to go ahead and go back from those shulker boxes with some narrow brick top slabs. We'll then take our piston. We're going to place down a piston here to both sides. Now, if you're not on Java, so if you're on Pocket Edition or Bedrock instead of the piston, I would recommend placing down a uh, narrow brick stair that would sit like this. So you have this, this bottom of the stair here and then the back side like this. So it's kind of like this at an L angle um, as an alternative. Then on the sides of the piston, we are going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign. Then continuing on from the pistons, we're going to go and take our narrow brick slabs, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 narrow brick slabs, and then same thing over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, then a piston right here, to both sides, followed by a dark oak wood sign on the side of said piston, and also a narrow brick top slab going back from the piston like that. After that is all done, we then want to place it on a green shulker box on its side like that to both sides. Mossy cobblestone wall here in these spaces like so. And actually instead of the green circle box we can place down a green terracotta block here so our walls actually connect up. Um, we'll just go ahead and make that quick little correction there. Um, we're going to then place down a polished black stone stair coming off the ends there. And then on the sides of the blocks themselves we're going to place down an item frame, then a cobweb, and just like that. And then also a dark oak button on the side here of these blocks. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block there in the center. And we then want to go ahead and place down a stripped spruce wood block to both sides, as well as a green terracotta block as well to the sides there. We then want to take our dark oak wood trap doors, and we're just going to place down a row of three going across the middle space like so. After that, we're just going to go ahead and fill in the inside of the vehicle in with green terracotta. So basically just like this, you're going to completely fill the inside in of the vehicle. And this is going to get completely filled in like so. Now, after that is all done there, that is going to basically wrap up everything we have for layer number two. Again, here's an aerial overview of what it looks like from the top down view. Uh, with that, though, we will be going ahead and moving on into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of these shulker boxes like so. We then want to go ahead and take our green stained glass panes and we're going to place down a row of six, or sorry, row of five across the middle here. And then we're going to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down a row of seven going.
going across as well. We don't want to place down a dark oak wood sign that's going to be on the sides here of these stairs. Just like so. And we then want to go ahead and grab our dark oak wood trap doors. And on the right side and right side only, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. We're going to take our green terracotta and we're just going to go ahead and build another row of seven across. So you have two rows. Then we have three. Followed by four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we're going to go and do eleven rows of seven going all the way across. Now, once you get to this point, we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the corners, and in the space in between here, we're going to take our loom and we're just going to, or sorry, our looms, and we're just going to place down a row of five across. We'll then place down an item frame here on the sides of those. Uh, blocks here on the back. We're going to place down red concrete in those item frames and for Java players we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak sign over the side of that block as, as well. Um, being on Java again we can place down some signs in the same block space as item frames. If you're not on Java then just disregard the signs. And continuing on we're going to go ahead and place down a green stained glass pane that's going to be on the sides of these middle two or the um, to the sides of the middle two uh, or the middle one uh, looms. So it's going to be like that on both sides there. We then want to take our uh, dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, three trap doors here along the sides, and we're going to then close them. We're going to then place down an item frame, then a green stained glass, or sorry, a green terracotta block, and then a dark oak wood sign over it if you're on Java. We'll then place down one, two, three, four, five, and six trap doors going forward. And that's going to be on the right side and the right side only. The left side here is going to be a bit different. Um, this is going to be done with a dark oak wood trap door here. We're going to go then skip a space, place down an item frame and a green terracotta block, as well as a dark oak wood sign on the side of that block. We're going to take our dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, dark oak wood trap doors going across the side there. And after that is all done, that is going to basically wrap up everything we have there for this layer. Just make sure you do take into account the two differences on the two sides. Luckily, they're really nothing too crazy to um, transfer but yeah that right there is basically all you want there for that um, at this point in time also for my java players we're gonna go and type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick so this command right here we'll press enter we'll get this glowing stick what we can do is we can go to the pistons here we can left click them until we get selected extended falls pop up on our screen we'll then right click them and we'll set them extended to true and it will get rid of that wood portion there uh, which kind of helps with a little bit of our shaping of our tracks before we go ahead and move into layer 4, we do want to go ahead and make some quick alterations here to the rear here of the vehicle. Um, we basically built this up exactly as we did for the 2K12 Cub, um, and this here is going to be a little bit different for the actual CERN uh, 1S91 um, system. So what we have going on here is we're going to first delete these green stained glass panes. We are also going to go ahead and place down green terracotta blocks on the sides there, so making this only a row of three of these um, looms. Then over here on the side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door here, close it flat, and our trap door here on the side, close that flat, or open that, I guess you can say, and same thing on the side here of the sign. So it's going to look like this here on the back, and that's going to be on the right side and the right side only. Once you have that all complete there, that is going to be everything we have to do to adjust the layer, and from here on out, you'll be good to go ahead and proceed through the rest of the tutorial. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to begin with, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this green terracotta block here. And on the other side there, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick, and we're going to place down our dark oak wood stair like so. Now on the back of the stair and the wall, we're going to place down item frames. And in those item frames, we want to go ahead and place down snowballs. Like that for the front lights. If you're on Java, we can go ahead and also place down a birchwood fence post that is going to be on top of this um, stair here. And then on the other side, we're going to go ahead and place down a chain that is going to go upwards like so. Again, that's going to be for Java. If you're not on Java and you do want to include the radio antenna, you can see right here, and this little fence post here, both are kind of minor details. Um, you can go ahead and choose to not place the item frames because the item frames on other versions other than Java do count as a block. I think I explained this obviously earlier in the previous layers, um, but you can go ahead and go without the fence post or the chain if you want to, if you rather have the lights or maybe choose one or the other, whatever you want to do. Um, anyways, though, with that all out of the way, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab an end rod and we're going to go to our middle glass pane and we're going to place it on top of that glass pane. We're going to place down a zombie head here to the side 
and then another zombie head here, and then the zombie head at a slight angle like that on top of those glass panes. Behind the end rod, we're going to place down a green shulker box like so, and then we're going to go and take our dark liquid slabs, and we're going to go and place them down to the sides of the shulker box. So one, two, one, two. This section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of dark liquid slabs across, then a dark liquid up sound stair, two both sides, and then come off the side of the stair as well. We're going to place down a dark liquid sign. So again, like that to both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves our um, dried kelp blocks. We're going to place down one, two. Dried kelp going back, one, two. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta as well as a dark oak slab to the sides. And we're going to go then place down a row of five of green terracotta going all the way, actually, yeah, row of five going all the way across. We're going to go then place down three more rows of five of green terracotta going across like so. And then on the sides here, we're going to place down two dark oak stairs and there are two over here. We're going to go then place down one more that goes back on both sides there. We'll follow this up with a daylight detector on both sides there. A row of three of green terracotta across the center here, and then a row of five of daylight detectors all the way across. Um, after we have that done, we're going to take our spruce wood slabs. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, and same thing over here, one, two, three, four. Then in the middle here, we'll place down a row of five of dark oak slabs across, a dark oak slab to both sides, then we'll grab our deep slate tiles. We're gonna place down three deep slate tiles across. Then two dark oak slabs. We'll grab our green shulker boxes, one, two, and then another dark oak slab here at the side. We'll place down two more slabs here, another two on this side, or actually, sorry, three on this side. And then again, your green shulker boxes, you're gonna place down a row of three, or sorry, row two going across there. And actually, this one um, slab here on the side is actually gonna be a stair, and on top of that stair, we are going to go ahead and just place down a birchwood fence post on top of it, um, like so. Which I guess is technically part of the next layer, but we'll just go ahead and knock it out now while we're at it. Now, in addition to this, uh, we do want to go ahead and take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down two daylight detectors here, and then we're going to go ahead and then take our dark oak with trap doors and place down two daylight or two trap doors coming off the daylight detectors, which will also make sure that we sit those trap doors flat. And once we have that all complete, there, that is going to wrap up everything there is there for layer number four for the build. Again, here's an aerial view of what it looks like from up above. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number five. Moving into our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five to be over, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this one here. We're going to go then place down a dark oak trap door cut off both sides here of the end rod. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a end rod that's going to go on top of the stair here and this wall. And we're going to place down another trap door coming off the sides there of the end rod. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our rails. We're going to place down one, two, and three rails on the side here of these blocks, and same thing over here on this side. We're going to go and then place down an end rod, a second end rod, and then one in between them. Same thing over here, like so. After that is all done, we want to go ahead and then take our green carpet, or rather that's actually going to be the next layer, so we're going to leave that for it right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block here, mostly cobblestone wall to both sides. Then we're going to place down three rows of three of green terracotta. And then on the sides here, mossy cobblestone wall, green terracotta block, mossy cobblestone wall, and we're just going to do this pattern all the way around, like so. After we have that all done there, on the back here, we're going to very simply just take our green shulker boxes and just place down an air layer going up from the shulker boxes that we placed down previously. And once we have that all done, that's going to pretty much square everything like that away. Um, one thing also we're going to go and touch on is going to be a end rod that's going to be on top of this or rather, sorry, actually a uh, iron bar that's going to be on top of that chain there for the radio antenna. So going ahead and continuing that up. And uh, for um, Java players, we're going to go ahead and take our pistons and we're going to place down a row of two of pistons in this section, like so, going forward. Um, again, an alternative here to the pistons, we will be using the debug stick here, um, which is going to be a Java only feature. Um, an alternative here to these would probably be like some polished blackstone full blocks or something of the sort. Just the uh, pistons here are kind of a better representative of the size, but you can obviously use an alternative to it if you want to. Um, but then we're going to go ahead and then delete this trap door here. We're actually going to place down a slab in its place and a wither skeleton skull. Um, so it's going to sit basically just like that. And what we're going to go and type in next is the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So we get this command here, press enter, and we'll go ahead and right click the pistons here with our debug stick. It will get rid of that wood portion and our pistons will look like that. So um, just this, I imagine some sort of exhaust. I'm honestly really not sure what it is, but it does come out here. So that is what we're going to go and put to represent everything on this vehicle. 
Anyways, though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number five, and with that, we'll go ahead and jump into layer number six. Layer six, we got our uh, kind of simple layer going ahead and getting us into it. We'll start by going ahead and taking our green carpet. We're going to place down our row three across the front here, then a green carpet here, and then on top of this end rod. On this side here, we're going to place it down on top of this slab, and then the end rod like so. We'll then take our green carpet along the side here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six green carpets. And over here, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six green carpets like that going back. After we have that all done, we're going to go to the top of the this here. We're going to go and basically just bring this up one more layer. So we're going to take the same exact thing we just did previously. And we're going to bring it up just one more. And we're going to go and basically take our walls up all the way around it like so. And after we have that done, there is going to be one thing we're going to add on, and that's going to be on this left kind of back side. We're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor there. Anyways, though, that is it for everything we have there for layer six, and we'll move on to layer number seven. Moving into layer seven, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and just taking some iron bars, and we just want to go ahead and build three more um, iron bars up on top of the one that we placed down back in uh, layer five, I believe. Um, so just go ahead and bring that all the way up so, so we don't have to worry about it anymore, and that is the radio antenna complete. Um, anyways, though, going ahead and moving into our uh, actual kind of radar system here. We're going to start off by taking our green terracotta. We're going to place it on our row three across this section here. Then one green terracotta block here in the center, and then a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. We're going to come off the mossy cobblestone wall and then forward with an iron bar. So just like that. Then this section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on the front. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate like this to both sides, and we'll open this here toward the trap door. We're going to go then place down another fence gate here um, in the center, which we're going to go ahead and open up toward the front. On the sides of that fence gate, we are going to go ahead and take a dark wood sign, and we're going to place it down on both sides. And then coming off the fence gate, going forward, we're going to place down an end rod. After that is done there, we're going to go ahead and then take our dark wood trap doors. We're going to place down a trap door on the side of the iron bar. We then want to go ahead and place down a, or rather, actually, sorry, it's going to be a mossy cobblestone wall rather than a dark wood trap door. Then to the side here of the wall, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor like this. And our trapdoor coming off of like so. Same thing over here. Trapdoor like this and trapdoor like that. And that's going to kind of start to create that uh, kind of forward uh, radar um, dish and all that. Um, after that's done, on the back here, kind of behind that, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three across and a second row of three. On the ends here, we're going to place down two green shulker boxes on their sides like so. We then want to go ahead and place down actually a mossy cobblestone wall here. Actually, it's going to sit in those spaces there. So it's going to look like this here from from the back. Uh, we're also going to place down a dark oak trap door on this green terracotta block. And then in this uh, corner space here, so real quick adjustment, um, we're actually going to go ahead and remove these two shulker boxes. They are not going to be on the left side. So they're going to be on the right side there of this system. So my apologies for that one. Um, but we will take a polished black stone wall and we're going to place it down on top of this uh, trap door here and we'll just place down with our skeleton skull on top of it so, so we don't have to worry about it later Also on this green terracotta block here We are going to place down a trap door as well have that closed sideways along the side there And once we have that all complete there that's going to wrap up everything there is there for layer 7 Looking at it again from the top down view. This is what should look like uh, Pretty simple stuff so far. So again, that's it for that and we'll move on up to layer number 8 Moving on to our next layer. We have layer number 8 for layer 8 to go ahead and get started with here We're gonna take our green terracotta. We're gonna place down another row of three across the top here and another green terracotta block down the center Followed by again a mossy cobblestone wall to the sides there of that Going ahead and going forward from this we're gonna take our dark oak trap doors We're gonna place down a row of three that's gonna go across the front here a mossy cobblestone wall on top of the ones from the previous layer as well as one more trap door uh, kind of going up again on both sides here um, Like this so again our trap doors is kind of stacked up on top of each other and opened up like so Now the sides here. We're gonna place down a dark oak sign on the side of the wall Then we want to take our green terracotta. We're gonna place down a row of three across the center here And we're gonna go ahead and then take our dark oak stairs and we're gonna place down one and two stairs and over here same thing Or actually sorry only on the right side there is the green to place the trap doors um, then on the back here, again, the green terracotta block, mostly cobblestone walls, dark oak wood trap door, and again on the left side here, there's the one dark oak wood trap door on the left side. And after that is all done, that is all we have for that. Actually, one quick thing we're also going to go ahead and add is going to be a dark oak wood fence gate right here, which will open up toward the green terracotta block, and that will be done on both sides there. 
Um, anyways though, without all of the way, that's it for layer number eight. And with that, we'll probably just go ahead and move into our last final layers of the build. Moving into our final layers here, uh, we have layers 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add on something that we did forget in the previous layer. That's going to be a monster cobblestone wall on top of this end rod here up in the front. And after that's done, that's going to complete that. It will go ahead and move into our final layers. So for these layers, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of these two here, as well as dark oak wood trapdoors on top of this middle space here. And again, the same thing on the sides here. We're just going to take these trapdoors uh, up one like that on the sides. So just like that. Then after we have that all complete there, we want to go ahead and then grab a uh, green stained glass paint and we're going to place down a row of three across this space here followed by an anvil on this space, and then coming off the anvil, we're gonna place down a uh, zombie head that's gonna go to both ends, or come off both ends. On top of the zombie heads, we're also gonna place down dark oak wood fence posts, and in the space between the fence posts, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood top slab, and a half slab on top of that, or rather, actually, sorry, a stair on top of that. We also wanna place down a zombie head on both sides of the stair like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block coming off the stair, then a green terracotta block to the four sides of that block, so it's going to look like that there. We're going to go ahead and place down a green stainless paint on top of this one, and then one out to the side, glass paint here, and out to the side there. Um, after we have that done, we also are going to take a trap door, and we're going to place it down uh, right here coming off that uh, glass paint. And same thing will be done over here in this corner, and then on top of these blocks, we'll also place down our trap doors. Now we're gonna go ahead and then take our green stainless paints. We're gonna place down a pane here, or rather, I'm sorry, a pane like this, and a pane like that. And then again, we're gonna place down our two green stained glass paints here, one, two. And then on the very top here, we're gonna place down a row of three going across there. Now, once we have that done, we're also gonna take our trap doors. We're gonna place it on the uh, back here of this green stained glass pane. So it's gonna look kind of like that there. If you are on Java, we can go ahead and kind of touch this up a little bit by actually extending the glass pane um, out to the sides here. This will be done by looking in the direction you want to extend the glass pane, so we want to extend it that way. We can press F3, we can look at our second paragraph there, it says we're facing toward the east. What we can do is we can go ahead and left click this with our debug stick, we have selected east, finish with a false, we right click it and it extends to the side there. We can do the same thing over here on this side, um, except we want to go ahead and take this to the south, or not the south, but the uh, west, as as the opposite there. Um, so it will kind of look something like that. You can also have to kind of bring, you can bring it in also a little bit, kind of helps the shape um, as well. Um, so you can also extend it toward the inside there. So again, a couple options there just to kind of help improve that overall look for the glass panes there. Um, we then want to go ahead and take our end rods. We're going to place down an end rod here and on top or and on bottom in the middle space, we're going to place down a fence gate. So just like that, an air fence gate coming off of it, open it toward that like so. A dark oak trap door, which we're going to go ahead and close. We'll also place down a trap door here on the bottom. So if I can get it to place, that would be pretty cool. But basically like that, and then a green carpet on top here. So it will look something just like that. And then we'll go ahead and go to the back here, and we're gonna go ahead and place down a um, zombie head that's gonna go on top of the stair here. Then a mossy cobblestone wall that's going to sit in these spaces, so we will actually delete these trap doors here, and we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall in their place. And on top of the mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a flower pot to both sides. Now, once we have that all done there, uh, the one thing we are going to go ahead and also add on is going to be the side here. Um, this is going to be this little dark oak slab, so it's going to be a dark oak slab that comes off this trap door here. We're also going to place down a trap door on the bottom of the slab, as well as a dark oak sign on the side of the slab as well. We'll place down two zombie heads like this going forward, and a zombie head going on the back here. You may have to adjust your glass pane here if it does um, kind of revert back due to the block being updated next to it. So just make sure you keep that in mind. And with that, guys, that's going to wrap up our tutorial here for the CERN 1S91 uh, mobile um, radar station. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be linked from a sign of the build link to my channel or this video if this does bring you social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. 
Um, as always, hopefully you do enjoy the build and are um, able to employ it in your worlds. Um, definitely feel free to check out my other surface tanker missile systems that this will go really cool uh, with in like some scenes and all that stuff. If you're building some kind of SAM site or something like that, this is a uh, really cool um, piece to have in there. Um, but with that, guys, I'll leave you there. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, your do it for, and I'll see you guys next time.